Louis Ortiz, The Coward, Part 4. <laughs> it just gets better every day. I just came up with a video yesterday on Louis Ortiz trying to, like, say, don't say he's on PED, shit like that. There's some bullshit like this happening. I talked about it on my live stream that I just did. Somebody brought it up. Um, But pretty much, Louis Ortiz trainer went off to say that pretty much they messed up the deal. They wanted too much. They got greedy. They trusted their promoter and so on. But here's the thing. It's all bullshit. It's all smoke and mirrors. The only reason why this man came out is because he knows after Eddie Hearn signs whatever fighter he's going to sign to fight AJ, he's about to expose the real amount of money that was offered to Luis Ortiz and his team. So now they're trying to save face before the real hard data and facts come out. Don't fucking say that, oh, the promoter did this when y'all motherfuckers were the one just saying that y'all never got an offer. So either you never got an offer or you wanted more money. Now you're saying you wanted more money, but then in the same other breath, you said you didn't get an offer. So how did you want more money if there was no offer made? They're fucking liars. They don't want the fight. They're scared of the fight. They know Ortiz is going to get blitzed out because he's too old to compete. He gets gassed in five or six rounds, which he just proved against a tier B opponent. The only people who think Ortiz is a legit challenge is the LDBC. You take away the LDBC, Ortiz has no fans because he has no wins. He's only beat Brian Jennings. That's it. But I find it funny. Jay Jimenez, you're a liar. Ortiz, you're a coward. PBC. Keep protecting your fighters. That's all. Luis Ortiz, a.k.a. Curious George, part four.